All right, so I wanted to uh, read another uh, email here. So it says, you know what I've been wondering about for years? The, the people that say gay is a choice might simply be speaking from their own perspective. Maybe for them they are bi or curious, but have chosen not to explore any, sa uh, any same-sex attraction, so that's why they think it must be a choice for truly gay and bisexual people. So really, it's an admission of their own potential sexual fluidity. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is a very good point. Uh, you know, the, the other question that people ask is, so is it a choice that you're straight? And then people are like, oh, of course it's not. You know, but the, you, you can't have it both ways. I mean, I, I guess the way some of these, at least religious people, explain it is, straight is the default position, which, as we know, it's not, but let's pretend it is. So they say straight is the default position, so gay is some perversion. But e even if that's the case, at some point you must choose not to be gay. And it's like, so when did you choose not to be sucking dicks all day long, you know? And, I mean, a lot of this is tied up with religion. A lot of this is, a lot of this comes from people who, who, um, who have to be one way or the other. And if they are bisexual or curious, uh, they, they are implicitly admitting that they do have this potential sexual fluidity, but they, they want to ignore it. They want to override it and say, oh, but I can now choose to be straight and not, um, and not, be, uh, not explore the same-sex attractions uh, with, unfortunately, tragic results. Because, uh, you know, I don't think those feelings go away. You know, they certainly don't seem to um, from any studies or anything like that. So if they don't go away, they become suppressed, and they're going to come out one way or the other. So I hope that answers that.